All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome to another great episode on your favorite political talk show, The Truth with Ben Jokes. Now, everyone living in Nigeria right now can feel the heat of the hardship being dished out to Nigerians by this administration. The Nigerian Labor Congress yesterday came out to reject the 0.5% cyber security tax imposed on all deposits by the federal government. But while they were still fuming over that, reports surfaced that the federal government will be bringing back telecoms taxes. Not only in telecoms, but taxes would increase in the manufacturing sector, importation sector, and banking sector, ETC. The level of inflation as it is, is already outrageous. And these guys are dishing out more taxes? What is happening? Some Nigerians have cried out. Well, these were the things that we warned against. And to be fair to Tinubu, he has never hidden his penchant for taxing the people. That was the same way he taxed and taxed and taxed them in Lagos State. But when Obi was asked about taxation, he said the government had to first give to the people before demanding taxes. He said, and right now, the Nigerian government had given too little to Nigerians to begin to lay emphasis so much on taxation. It was obvious. We had no business with the APC even after 2019. But all of a sudden, many Nigerians began to view the APC as the party that represents Islam and the Yoruba and Hausa Fulani race. Discussions on how to fix our country through good governance was relegated to the background. Everything became about tribe and religion. But here we are, the problems now biting on all of us regardless of our sentiments. Fuel scarcity is biting hardest in the north. Hunger is at its peak there and insecurity ravaging the land. And the same Hausa group that was always speaking against Peter Obi during the campaigns has cried out. They said the troubles of this government have become unbearable, that Nigerians should hit the streets and protest. Before I show you how they said it and how Nigerians reacted, let me quickly show you this video, this heartbreaking video coming out of Southwest Nigeria. See ya. You saw that. Now, this video was posted by a guy from the Southwest. Old women, some of them even sick. You saw that one that has something like back pain. Old women queuing up and bowing to an APC politician because of one sachet of spaghetti. One sachet of spaghetti that cannot even go around one household. This is not about tribe. A Yoruba man posted it. And this could happen in almost every region in this country. And those of us who are talking about taking back Nigeria, talking about new Nigeria, our anger, no per se, we don't want to be seeing all these kind of things in this country. Now, how can you see this kind of video and not be moved to make things work in this country? Look at how Nigerians reacted. Let's take some of the tweet reactions. This tweet here by Omega says, Dear APC supporters, are you happy now? We want you guys, clowns. That is the truth. The truth is that this is the kind of country that the APC wants. 
so that they will be able to control the masses. They want to hold the masses down with poverty. And those are the things we are saying we should get rid of. And this tweet by Dearest Jessica says, that is the type of Nigeria Tinubu is working to achieve by reducing their purchasing power and enriching the ruling class. So sad. And Kadri Olaiwala here says, this is the Nigeria APC wants. They will now bring 3,000 naira during the elections and use bigotry to make them forget their hunger. We deserve our leaders. Oh, and this tweet by Remy says, when poverty is a tool for suppression, palliative becomes a norm. Elections have consequences. Renewed hope turned, renewed shege. Mm. And Matthew Olani Pekun says, my discomfort in this video is those kids watching what is going on. A future being sold out that is it this is what children are being thought because whatever children see will stick to their heads and this tweet here by george says what kind of insult is this i grew up between ilefe and ibadan i have never ever in my 50 years of living seen a yoruba person living on handouts i have never seen a yoruba person bowing down to greet because of food what kind of nonsense are we witnessing here jesus mm. well this is the kind of nigeria that the apc wants now let us look at that call for protest by the media platform called voice of hausa voice of hausa is actually one of the biggest rwa media platforms during the presidential election campaign in 2023 they started by forming neutral and after a while they began to tilt towards the apc Look at one of their famous tweets. They tweeted, The biggest problem of Peter Obi is his supporters. They are too toxic instead of being political. If their approach and mindset do not change, our Hausa people and Yoruba we will punish them again in 2027 by not voting their candidates. Imagine having a candidate that you know is good. Then you said because of how his supporters are talking, you don't want to vote him. Is that not a very stupid excuse? It means you are just a senseless human who does not even know why he needs to vote in a good candidate. You don't even know that having a good leader is for your own good. Now, things have gone awry in Nigeria and they have rushed out to tweet this. No fuel subsidy. Increased electricity tariff. Dollar to Naira is 1,400. Telecommunication taxes. 0.5% cyber security levy, stamp duty charges, value added tax charges. Still, our minimum wage is 30,000 naira. Nigerians should hit the streets. This is unacceptable. And look at how Nigerians reacted. Look at some of the tweet reactions. This tweet here says, The guy you voted for told you clearly that he will increase taxes, expand tax base, and reduce your purchasing power. Yet, you voted for him. The man is fulfilling his campaign promises. But if you still want to protest, hit the streets. Others will follow you. Yeah, you go. Go ahead and hit the streets because you were the ones that ushered them in. And Moshud here was using their own words against them. He said, on the mandate we are all standing. She, it is Muslim, Muslim ticket. And Peter Obi will never be president. Una, they mad now. Make we all, they see. I tell Una say now Una go tire first. Seven more years to go for the mandate. Chai, God forbid. And Baba Salako here says, The last time Nigerians hit the streets, where were the northerners? Oh, your daddy was the president then. Anyways, let the north lead the way. The rest of us will follow. And this tweet by Virtual Mama says, Nigerians won't hit the streets, unfortunately. The APC has really succeeded in dividing Nigerians using tribalism and religion. This is a very powerful spell cast on Nigeria. It is a very strong hold that can't be broken. Oh, well, if the spell cannot be broken, then it was not cast by the APC. If the spell of tribe and religion that is holding Nigerians down in poverty and squalor and hopelessness like this cannot be broken, then it was not the APC that cast that spell then it is the hatred of our own hearts that is working against us. Because I really don't understand how long it will take Nigerians to realize that we are actually our own problems. When you look at how divided 
the citizens of this country are, it is actually very difficult for a politician to even perform. Because how would a politician perform when he knows that he can do whatever? He can steal all the money in the office that is given to him and he will still leave the office or while still in office, have the support of his people. So he begins to think that this thing is not about performance. Just do whatever. Your people will still support you in the name of tribe and religion. This same voice of Hausa, one of the largest northern media platforms, never criticized Buhari in his eight years of failure. Now it is Tinubu's turn. They are asking for a protest. A Yoruba person who is not smart will see this and he will begin to see it as an affront on his ethnic group. And he will also feel the need to defend Tinubu. When will this nonsense stop in this country? These guys are busy enriching themselves. They have children, wives, they are, they are concubines. And you guys are here talking about ethnicity, religion, this and that. When will this nonsense stop? Well, it is important to state that until Nigerians are able to put all these useless sentiments aside, we are not going anywhere in this country. This is how this poverty will continue. There's nothing like prayer or patience or endurance. It will continue to get worse until Nigerians come together and get the evil political class out of power and vote in a man and other people whose heart beats for the people. But until then, make I still enter town. <laughs> Make I go get some Ogbonge political news where Una go like. Why? Because now, because of Una. Now I day here, so don't go away. Don't go away.